Hi, my name is Jermaine Basil. I am the vocal music instructor here at the Louis Armstrong Summer Jazz Camp, and I've been doing this for 12 years. In my opinion, the vocal music uh, program is very, very important. First of all, because the voice is the original musical instrument, you know, and sometimes we forget that. Uh, and also, at the camp, we have the opportunity for the children to not only use their vocal instruments, but they have the opportunity to use their vocal instruments with the other instruments that are here uh, at the camp. So therefore, we have a full service, if you will, of the musical experience to these youngsters. The jazz camp, this jazz camp, uh, provides foundations. This jazz camp provides a musical foundation for any child who participates. And what I mean by that is our faculty uh, is a faculty that demands, that demands that our students learn to do things properly. And once you learn how to do something properly, then you have a smooth way to go. And I think that our faculty uh, does a very good job of instilling that uh, thing in, 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 in the children that participate. It doesn't matter uh, whether it's dance, singing, playing the instrument, composing, whatever. We have a way of demanding a good foundation. It's not where kids just come in and blow. You know, when I walk down the corridors and see and hear, uh, young people learning how to do the scales, learning how to do the arpeggios, learning how to read music, learning to understand that all of these things make good jazz, if you will. Um, they um, not only get to experience the written note, but they experience the inner spirit that goes to make that written note be what it is. Oh, wow. I love them. You know, this is a family. And every year in July, the family meets. And we enjoy each other. We enjoy conversation. We enjoy learning from each other. Uh, the spirit of cooperation is phenomenal. You know, um, I have yet to hear anybody say, well, we're just not going to do that because we don't like this song, you know. We don't have that kind of, well, I'm not going to say it. But anyway, we have, uh, what our ship will say is that we have a beautiful spirit that happens here at this camp. And anybody who visits, as soon as they get here, they feel that. Even our artists in residence, you know, they feel the warmth. You know, they feel the love and they just feel very, very comfortable with us. And I think that says a whole lot, not just for the faculty, but it says a lot for the administration. You can't buy it. You can't buy that. The uh, opportunity for our young people to share with these great people who come in and serve us. You know, they serve with their talent and their time and their encouragement and all of this. And maybe the, young, the younger people don't realize it right now, you know, but as they grow and work with the program, they're going to remember all of these beautiful people who have come in and shared things with them and taught them um, the fact that well, I know for the singers, most times when the artists in residence come in, we have the opportunity to sing with uh, the artists, either something that they've composed or arranged, and our children sing along with them. You can't buy that. You can't buy that. And I think that every person, every person who has come has given us 
a lot of themselves, you know. They have not been selfish people, you know. They have been very, very giving. That's something that we learn through the jazz, because that's what we do. I think that um, what I really want them to do is to get out of the box that we just sing, you know, we just sing words. I want them to understand that the voice can make any sound, you know, from a boom to a, imitate a horn, you know, imitate drums, you know, the voice is truly an instrument. And when we are singing, sometimes I will ask them, while we are singing, close your eyes and hear what the band is playing. Listen to what the band is playing and see how your part fits in to bring that other sound to the music. Therefore, making you an instrument is only that you're using words, you know. But if you're not using the words and you're scatting, you know, you're free. You can do any, any song that you want. And I want them to uh, feel free to do that. And of course, they're gonna have to discover that as they go along because there's just so much you can say. But if you listen and listen and listen, especially to instrumentalists, you know, you get the idea that the voice is an instrument, and when you get on the bandstand, if I can just refer to myself for a minute, um, when I get on the bandstand, it's not so much Jermaine going up there as a singer, as much as it's Jermaine going up there as another sound, you know, to be a part of that whole ensemble. So I just bring another sound to it, and then hopefully it blends, <laughs> hopefully it works. I don't see any other name for it. Here we are in New Orleans, you know. Here we are in the uh, hometown of the guy who couldn't read a note from here to the sky, you know. But his spirit was there, and he played and he expressed himself through his music. He expressed this freedom, you know, through his improvisational things, you know. He did a whole lot, and I'm not going to go into all the technical kinds of things here because everybody is not involved in it technically, but you're involved with it spiritually, you know. And he connects with uh, the spirit, and that spirit of New Orleans, uh, or New Orleans, however you want to say it, that spirit can't be written down. You can write the notes, like Alvin Baptiste says, you know. You can play the written note and it can be correct, but it ain't right, you know. And the rightness comes from be, having that spirit, be feeling free to do what you can do uh, with these pieces. And Louis Armstrong sort of um, made it okay to do that. I think he was way back there in the 20s when he was playing, you know, and people talk about how phenomenal it all is, and perhaps it is, but it was, hey, this is the spirit that's playing, you know. Who's going to say whether the spirit is right or wrong, you know? And that idea is something that happens here in this camp, okay? I feel it. I believe it, uh, that all of the the faculty, you know, we're all on that same page uh, that Louis Armstrong put this information on. And some way or another, we, and we're still passing it on. We're still passing it on, you know. We're passing it on. We're passing it on to the 10-year-olds as well as to the 20-year-olds. You know? And hopefully that will continue. I mean, evidence of that is that you, you have alumni, you know, going to what is it, Berkeley, going to New England Conservatory, going to Juilliard, you know, it's the same. 
you know. So I think that the Louis Satchmo Armstrong Summer Jazz Camp plays a big, big, big part in the culture of this city. In a positive way, yes. Yes, I think that the, um, the young people who leave this camp at the end of three weeks develop so much socially. Um, they leave here, some come in very shy, and at the end of three weeks you can see the confidence you know, that sense of accomplishment, and I think that's important, uh, that at the end of this camp, everybody has a sense of accomplishment, of achievement. In some situations, you know, it's a matter of, well, we, there's just somewhere for us to go, you know, and we just go. And at the end of the time, you look back and say, well, what did I learn? What did I do? But at this camp, these young people can leave here with a sense of achievement. That says a lot for confidence. It says a lot for self-esteem. It says that the faculty, administration, have set standards, you know, and they expect these young people to reach those standards. We don't take anything less than your best. And we have to re continue to require them to do their best. And when they realize that we're requiring them to do their best, then they have that sense of achievement. That's why when these kids leave here at the end of three weeks, they've got a smile on their face and they know that they've accomplished something. And that's why parents, you know, want to say, well, where can we get this? You know, we do a good job. Well, one of the things I, w I hope it's all right for me to say this is that I would like for our community to support what we do. I'd like to see more support, more commitment, more dedication uh, to this camp um, because it's not about the faculty and it's not about the administration as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned. It's about the children. And we have to provide opportunities for children. We keep saying, well, they don't want to do this and we don't, they don't want to do that, but do we give them the opportunity to do it? So I would like to see more people committed and getting on board to do whatever they can do to support uh, the camp. Come out and hear us, come out and see what we're doing, you know, uh, give a call to whomever, you know, to see what we can do to do this. Because actually what I would really see, like to see personally is that this would go on like for 12 weeks, for the full summer, if that was possible. Because look how much we accomplish in three weeks. You know, so um, I would like to, to, to see that kind of thing happen. Um, I, I don't know how we do it, you know, I mean, who, can, who, who is out there who can come in and support and say, we'll do something to help this, this camp, help these children, because we need to, we need to save them. And a lot of people have been saved through music. And if we start early enough, we can save a lot of them. <laughs>